Hey everyone, welcome to this psychology lecture series. In this video, I'm going to talk about aptitude tests. Aptitude tests are used to assess specific cognitive, perceptual, or physical skills. These tests are frequently used in the processes such as hiring, placement, and advancement. In addition, aptitude tests are also used for selection procedures for college, professional programs, and career planning. Aptitude tests are also useful for program evaluation and answering research questions based on scientific inquiry. In most cases, aptitude tests are administered in group format. The main difference between the intelligence tests and aptitude tests are aptitude tests target a specific domain or a set of domains whereas intelligence tests assess global ability. Aptitude tests were originally derived from subcomponents of intelligence tests. Hugo Munsterberg and Walter Dill Scott were two of the earliest contributors to the creation of modern day aptitude testing. Aptitude tests provide immediate insights into candidates' abilities as interviews cannot reveal several abilities in the candidates. Aptitude tests are directly related to the quality of hire. Certain jobs seek specific skills or abilities in the candidates. For example, it is a must for a computer programmer to be sound in logical abilities. Let us now take a look at some of the commonly used aptitude tests. Numerical reasoning tests are standardized psychometric assessment tests which are specifically designed to measure a candidate's ability to make correct decisions or inferences from numerical or statistical data. The next one is the verbal reasoning test which are used to test their understanding of written texts and how factual their drawn conclusions are from the written material. The next one is the in-tray and e-tray exercises, which are standardized psychometric assessment tests, which provides information about a candidate's general ability to manage and respond to a series of different tasks, to negotiate conflicting demands, and analyze different priorities. The next one is the inductive reasoning which provides information about a candidate's problem-solving abilities. People who perform well on inductive reasoning tests tend to have a greater capacity to think conceptually as well as analytically. Mechanical reasoning tests usually target and assess your depth of ability and competency with mechanical concepts. Diagrammatic reasoning tests, also known as abstract reasoning tests, are used to test your ability to understand shapes, abstract ideas, and how fast you can observe or extract rules from illustrations and apply them to new samples to come up with the correct answer. This test is commonly used when applicants are needed for the position that require decisive problem solving abilities and initiative to work. Spatial reasoning test, also called as spatial awareness test, can provide a candidate's ability to mentally rearrange, rotate and manipulate shapes or objects without physically touching them. This type of reasoning is essential for solving everyday problems such as using a map and compass, merging into high-speed traffic, and orienting yourself in your environment. Situational judgment tests assesses the ability to choose the most appropriate action in workplace situations. 
Mental arithmetic tests provide information about a candidate's general numerical aptitude. These tests are designed to measure basic numeracy and can be categorized as a speed test. The next is the number sequence tests also called number series that provides information about a candidate's general ability to logically reason with numbers. Verbal analogies tests are designed to measure a candidate's ability to recognize relationship between ideas, think methodically, and fluency in English language. Vocabulary test provides information about a candidate's general vocabulary size. Watson Glaser critical thinking test, also referred to as critical reasoning test, is used for selecting candidates of graduate, professional, and managerial level. Syllogism tests provide information about a candidate's detective and logical reasoning skills. Math word problem tests are used to provide information about a candidate's general reading comprehensive skills, ability to visualize information, and numerical aptitude. Logical reasoning tests provide information about a candidate's general problem solving ability. Hope you find this useful. Do share and subscribe. Thank you.